Hey everybody, this is Ryan Zaranich from Brit Floyd here. I'm the multi-instrumentalist. I've been here since 2016. And uh, this year was a real special year for me. We got to upgrade a lot of gear. And so I'm here to give you my rig rundown for the 2023 show. So let's start here in keyboard land. This is a Nord Electro 6D. I get to use this a couple times in the show. I get to use it when I play organ on Great Gig. And I also play the Salina Strings patch on Pigs. On other years, it gets used a couple more times too. It just depends on the song. As well, we have a, a Roland digital percussion pad. This is the SPD SX Pro. It's brand new for this year. We've always used Roland products, and this is the third generation that has appeared in this show. Everybody in the show is using Fractal Audio. So this is an FM9. It's way more than I need for this show, but it's super, super wonderful. It has great sounds that we've built for it. And, um, and also you see down here, I've got a, a volume pedal for my keyboard. And also this is my uh, Ventilator 2 by Neo Instruments, which gives me the Leslie sound without getting uh, an actual Leslie like Matt has close to me over here. So percussion was extra fun for me this year. I bought way too much stuff for this show, but somebody told me to make it really exciting. So let's start out with the uh, LP Latin Percussion Pedrito Martinez Congas and Bongos. We have three congas this year, two bongos. And I get a lot of comments about the really cool finish on these instruments. And uh, for any of you who want to know, that is, it's deep cut mango. Oh, wow. Like, you know, like the fruit, mango. That came from a mango tree to make these particular instruments. They're all wood. We use synthetic Remo heads on all of these because they do really well with temperature change, things like that. So no major tuning day to day, right? Over here, we've got the uh, LP Prestige Timbales in brass, 14 and 15 inches. And then I have just like a massive whack of LP accessories, some cowbells here, tons and tons of shakers you can never have too many including this banana that ito got me the other day that's actually a shaker um and uh you know lp chimes over here and mounted tambourine and uh and the medium jam block from lp as well and always just like odds and ends things that shake and make noise so as a lot of you know uh, Brit Floyd uses exclusively DPA microphones on tour. We have for a couple of years now and we've continued to do it. We've got, uh, you see this little DPA 4099 here. These appear all over my percussion rig. And also on the overheads, we're using 2011C to capture all the cymbal sounds. By the way, these are Zildjian cymbals, really fun sounds. And then, <clears throat> In, with the case of DPA microphones being uh, really, really, really sensitive, they're, you know, they're very studio grade microphones. We had an issue with the cowbell sound because the cowbells are so loud. And if you see over here, they, they sometimes uh, face the girls' vocal mics. So our audio team came up with a solution. And that mounts on this DW rack, by the way. I've made a rack mount for everything so it's so easy. But this plexiglass shield will stop a lot of the cowbell sound from getting into the microphones for the girls. I just found out from Edo behind the camera here that you might not be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Do me a favor and like and subscribe. This was my favorite new addition this year. I decided that I wanted to get a sheet gong for the show. This appears in songs like High Hopes and I play it, uh, although I shouldn't play it, in the end of Run Like Hell. All right, for guitars, I've been using uh, Godin and Seagull guitars for a lot of years. This is a Rosewood SWS that I have. I also have uh, an S6, and the S6 is made especially for the super high tuning, what's called a Nashville tuning or high strung. So for me, that appears in songs like uh, like Hey You, 
and sometimes in mother, depending on what we're doing. And this is just a and comfortably a, numb. Comfortably numb, yeah. This is just a typically tuned acoustic guitar. This Rosewood SWS. Uh, for the few songs that I play bass, you know, Roger Waters was a big P bass guy, uh, but I have a real affinity for really nice basses because I like to play a lot of them. So this is my Fodera Guitars Monarch P. I had it made with a sunburst finish and I put flats on it uh, particularly for this year and uh, I'm so happy to get to play this wonderful instrument. And always when I can use them mono bags. I have a million of these for my basses, my cymbals, all kinds of all kinds of stuff. I love I them a lot. Them really yeah. easy to travel with. I know you have one too, Ido. So for saxophones, for a lot of my professional life, I've used the P. Moriat saxophones. And the ones that I use in the show, I had made to look and feel and sound old, just like the ones that would have appeared on a lot of the Pink Floyd recordings. So for mouthpieces for the show, it's always been Thea Wani for me. These are just my favorite mouthpieces. I've, I've played them since 2010. And for the show, I bring a ton of them because sometimes I need some different sounds. Sometimes I just simply need a backup. But as you can see, I travel with a lot of different sounds as well on here. A lot of these mouthpieces come with B BG ligatures, which I've used for a long time. These are uh, made by a friend of mine in France. I have quite a couple of these in here. So for saxophone reeds, for a long, long time, I've used Legere synthetic reeds. Sometimes the signature cut, oftentimes the American cut, depends on the horn for me. I've used synthetic saxophone reeds for a long time because they also don't, uh, they don't change with uh, location or temperature or humidity or things like that. So in the case of playing on Brit Floyd where I play a saxophone song and then I go play a half an hour of some other instruments and then come back and just pick up a saxophone and have to play, these play the same maybe way. Maybe on in a hockey arena. Right, maybe in a hockey arena or in a desert, you know. These play the same way every time. On the maintenance end, I quite often use Key Leaves products, especially the Key Props and also the Gap Cap and I clean all of my horns with products from BG, who are the same people who made the ligatures on my mouthpieces, if you were following along. Also, we have a little selection of, you know, Neotech straps that I like to use. I use these on all, even on my guitars. They make them for guitars and basses that I use during the show. This is a product that I've used actually since I was 10 years old. Finally, my last piece of gear. I know it's been a lot. Uh, this is the baritone sax that I use on the show, particularly only in Shine On parts 1 to 5. There's the baritone saxophone solo that moves to the tenor saxophone solo. And we've had this, I've had this saxophone for a while. This got made for me by the same company when I joined this gig in 2016. It was really exciting and they wanted me to have a nice thing. So this saxophone, in, instead of wearing two saxophones on Shine On, uh, this gets mounted on a special stand uh, on stage that's uh, really good for it and supportive for me. And I've got the tenor saxophone around my neck that I switched to halfway through. So friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me with checking out all of this gear, all of this brand new really, really fun gear, and honestly too much of it, but I like toys. Uh, I'll see you next time. I hope I get to see you at a show. And uh, if you have any gear questions for me about what I'm using in the show, please feel free to find me on Instagram at, at Ryan Saranich.